Hey folks, it's Stu from Evolution Unleashed and today I'm back with a quick 10 minute tutorial video. You're going to get a lot more of these. I'll be flying solo in these um, because we want to keep them nice and short. So today I want to introduce you to a plugin called WebPilot, show you some of the cool things you can do with it. And the prompt I've got for you today, which will be provided down below for free, will show you how to rewrite your website copy in a very cool way. So before we get started, we need to understand uh, how to load our plugin. So we're going to go to ChatGPT. Now, unfortunately, folks, this is only available in the uh, GPT-4 or the Plus paid account. So if you have access to that, you'll be able to use these plugins. And we want to come down and make sure we've got plugins installed. If you can't see plugins here, just come down here. I haven't got to open at the moment to your settings. Uh, just go in there, go to your beta settings and activate plugins, okay? So you'll see I've got one plugin selected. So when you've got plugins uh, here, you'll see which plugins you have here. You can have up to three. I've got one of three, which is the one we're using today, WebPilot. But if you don't have that, you need to come all the way down to the bottom here. Uh, and as you can see, it's a little bit uh, zoomed in too far. So we'll just zoom out a wee bit. There's the plugin store. Click that. And we'll zoom back in. Uh, and just type WebPilot, folks. And there it is. You want to just click install. What it does is it browse web pages. Okay, so you can give it a website or a number of URLs uh, in the same domain. Or you could give a URL for a PDF or data, and then you can work with that with ChatGPT. And that's where you get to be creative and think of all the cool things you can do. You might put your competitor's website in here and go and analyze it for gaps and then tell ChatGPT your offer and ask it to uh, show how your offer is differentiated or superior to your competitor's offer. And if it says, well, it isn't, well, help me make it more differentiated and help me outperform or outcompete this particular offer. So for competitor analysis, absolutely brilliant. But today we're using it for something different. So if you've got that installed, we'll head back over to ChatGPT. And I've got a prompt for you that's going to allow us to go and rewrite our website copy. Now, many of you will have a website. You're probably thinking, I need to redo it sometime. You don't maybe don't want to hire a copywriter. This is a way to do it in, in a way that actually cuts down a lot of the problems, which I'll show you. So the prompt has a number of placeholders, and I want to quickly take you through those. I don't want to make these videos too long, folks. So over here, I've already put the prompt in. Okay, uh, let's zoom back in. So today I would like you to assume the role of professional copywriter specialized in creating website copy for your first placeholder. Just put your type of company, your industry. So if you're email marketing, you'll put email marketing company. If you're a spiritual lifestyle coach, you'll put for a spiritual lifestyle coach. Just put what you are here or your company is here. Um, put in the URL of the website that you are redoing. This one is actually a prompt I created for myself. We've partnered with a chatbot developer because we just got sick of trying to find a chatbot that could do what we wanted. We have built a client acquisition chatbot that we're going to be releasing to the public uh, through this partnership with this amazing developer, Jeremy. And as a result, we need to rewrite the landing page or the website copy and I want to make it really professional. So I want to take you through the placeholders. The first one is, uh, apart from the URL, and make sure, by the way, folks, that you use the full HTTPS, dub, 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 the whole lot, the www, okay? Put the full URL in. Then you want to put in your target market. You can see I've got an extensive target market here. We've got demographic, psychographic. Very quickly, again, want to keep these short. Uh, we've got a free file over here called the free power prompt swipe file. This is yours for free in our group. It's the first pin post. Otherwise, I'll put a link down below this video so you can access this. It's got some of our really cool prompts, but the one you want is target market, and it's going to give you uh, a lot of very valuable information for your prompts and then whenever you need to align something to your target market you can put this output in wherever we have a placeholder for target market so that's free I recommend you download that or if you've been through our marketing accelerator framework uh, you'll have a much more extensive version you may have the full demographic and psychographic breakdown that we've got here because those prompts are a little more advanced for our paid clients okay um, intention you'll recognize our prompt structure task 
context, which is king, give it lots of context. And now our goal or objection is to create new copy for our website in order to maximize and optimize conversion rates. We want to make more sales. It's about revenue. And the instructions, please am analyze the website URL provided and suggest a complete rewrite of the copy according to the following guidelines. You can read through these. This is just um, some placeholders that I've added in. So the copy should follow best practice for, if you're a spiritual life coach, put spiritual life coaching websites. If you're an email marketer, you'll write email marketing websites just to give that additional uh, sort of personalization to ChatGPT. And look, folks, I want to teach you prompting. That's why we've got a prompt engineering course coming. It's going to be very advanced. You need to learn how to tweak these instructions so that it's even more powerful. This will be good, but it may be different, right? So, you know, ensure you position Autobots as the leader in the field of conversational AI. You may put ensure you position, you know, this isn't a line that isn't in your prompt. You may want to add it. It's what I've added in. Took it out of your one because it's not needed, but you might want to put ensure you position uh, your brand as a leader in the field of email marketing or spiritual lifestyle coaching or whatever it is. Uh, constraints, because this is a SaaS product, I've put, please don't overhype this or use hype language, avoid direct response styles. The goal is to present an offer in a way that is natural, professional, it will still resonate with that target audience. So I don't want hype language. I don't want skyrocket your success or any of this stuff. This is a SaaS product. So you, this is why you need to really learn how to drive these instructions, okay? Because this may not give you the type of output you want. If you've done the marketing accelerator framework, we would have given you a tone, emotion, and voice where you can create your brand voice. So what you would do here at the bottom of your instructions, you would just paste in your tone, emotion, and voice that you've done in the math. If you haven't done the math yet, folks, it's an incredible tool. If you're in business and you need to get clients, it's indispensable. You'll use it so much, it'll blow your mind. It'll give you such a leap forward. And it's like $297. It is incredible. Um, Anyway, I'll drop a link to that below because you really need to upskill and learn prompting, which we teach you in there. And we give you all the advanced marketing prompts with the how and the why, because I think that's important that you learn. So really, um, the, the key to this prompt is we've added, added this here. Please show the old version of each section along with your new copy. Now, there'll be another line on your prompt. There'll be our override. I have it in my custom instructions. So I won't bore you with the details, but yours will have an extra section here, which you'll see in the prompt below uh, under this video. So uh, certainly, JJ, I'm excited to take on a style, da, 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 okay? So here's the old version, for example. Autobots AI, we're changing the way people connect, and it's given me a new version, transforming business growth through intelligent conversations. Much better, right? Um, and this is why this is a really cool way to rewrite your website. If you just use a, a, our other copy generators, it doesn't know the style and flow of your website by looking at your website you're not going to have to redesign it notice the length of the content folks is pretty similar right so while your headlines might be a little bit different your box your text might be different the only thing you'll need to change is the text and it'll fit into whatever website you have because we've told it to keep it in that structure okay so that'll just take away one of those headaches and look how much better this is unlock unprecedented growth of ar power conversations that's the headline our chatbot platform is your secret weapon for boosting sales enhancing customer service and automating tasks effortlessly integrated with zapier we empower you to connect with over fifty thousand actions seamlessly i mean this product is mind-blowing and we can't wait to release this so as i said we built this prompt for ourselves but now we're using it as a training for you. So folks, you can see we've got uh, all these new versions. And the last thing I really want to do, oh, it's it's saying, uh, do you want to discuss any of these sections in more detail? Uh, thank you, ChatGPT. Please continue. We'll see what else it wants to say. It might suggest some additional things. We've got this override prompt, a structure built into the end of the prompt and we get some really cool stuff okay so it's just going to keep going through and rewriting the website if you don't like the answers that it gave you folks and especially when you're writing copy oh look at that it's even redoing the footer look at that pioneering intelligent conversations how much better is that? As you can see, we still have placeholders on the current one. Um, here's all our links. Look, it makes it look much nicer and so on, okay? Uh, continue to focus on making the copy. I won't read all that, but this is perfect. Now, we can actually regenerate this, okay? And it will regenerate the second response, or we might want to regenerate the first response, and then it'll 
give you your please continue and then you can just edit through and pick out the best parts of each okay so really folks today i just wanted to show you how to use this plugin to rewrite your website copy or to do computer analysis and we want to teach you a lot more about prompting these large language models like ChatGPT, so you can start to get the output that's going to move you forward and actually have a tangible impact on your business rather than just fluffy talk that doesn't make any change so that's it for this video. We've got plenty more of these coming and I'll see you in the next one.